Good afternoon, welcome to Dear Cypher Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is why everyone should have a bucket list. Now this is something that I think is super important because the more things you have in a, in a planned situation, the more things you achieve. And it keeps you living your life with purpose. When you have a purpose, you have a reason to get up in the morning and to be happy. You're not dwelling on the small stuff because you have so many things to look forward to. Now a bucket list doesn't have to be, have to include big items. It can be something as simple as going on a vacation, a different type of vacation, every five years. It could be maybe doing a hundred yoga classes in a six month period or a 30 day challenge. I personally think that everyone, regardless of age, should have a bucket list because it keeps you interesting. It gives you goals, it gives you deadlines, it gives you things to look forward to on your calendar. And when you have things to look forward to, you enjoy life. You're not looking at things in a negative way. You're looking at things in a very positive, positive environment because you're putting yourself into many different scenarios. You achieve something that maybe you wouldn't normally have done if you didn't mark it down as something that you're going to make happen. This is the difference. If you just say things like, oh yeah, I kind of would like to do that. I'd like to go on a safari, but you don't plan it. Chances are you're not going to do it. So it's how much energy you put into your bucket list and set up a plan, whether it's booking something so that you're, you've got a little bit of money invested already and you have to go through with it. There's always reasons to find why you shouldn't do something especially if it's a little bit scary. We all have a, a way to make excuses for not bettering ourselves because sometimes it's easier just staying in a routine, staying in a bit of a pattern. But then we all end up getting bored. We end up getting frustrated with our life. Is this all there is? Don't ever take on that attitude because if you always have something ready to go and something that is going to happen in a year or two, even in two weeks, it's a great place to put yourself. You will find that you're not pessimistic. You're very happy and you're optimistic about your future. And regardless of each approaching milestone birthday, you're going to be happy to approach those days because you have lived your life and you're continuing to live your life. A lot of people get themselves stuck in a boring pattern. And this is what makes the relationship stale or maybe even keeps them from having a relationship. These are things that you always want to be ahead of. You want to be that fun person, that interesting person that has a lot to talk about because people want to be around you. You're energetic, you're fun, you're exciting. You've got lots of stories and it's contagious. When you do things like this and your friends say, well, what happened? How did it go? Tell me all about it. It becomes sort of a circle, a contagious circle. And everybody wants to try it. Everybody wants to, to make things happen. And this is what's great about being in a good circle of friends where you're all similar and like-minded because you encourage each other to continue and practice this approach. I have asked many of my clients what their passions are. And you know, it's not surprising that a lot of people just don't know really quite how to answer that because they think it only has to be one thing or big thing, but it's not. It's, you can have passions about a lot of different things, regardless of whether it's sports, it's cooking, it's going on, a, as I said earlier, a safari, something along those lines, or it could be something even bigger. You want to change careers and you're 45 years old, all of a sudden you don't like what you're doing and you say, I'm going back to school, I'm going to try this. It's never ever a bad thing to change up your life pattern because the less you stay stuck in a place you're not happy in, the more you evolve, the more you grow and the better person you become because you're not stagnant. You're not sitting there saying to yourself, I just don't want to go to work today. I don't like what I'm doing anymore. If you want to find out what your passion is, ask yourself a few questions. What makes you really happy when you're doing something? What sparks your interest when you're learning something? If you could have any career, what would it be? If you could go to any really interesting 
country, where would that be? Write all these things down and then you can start making a bucket list from there because as I said, it doesn't have to be big expensive things. It could just be something that you want to run in a sun run, like a five mile run in April, which we have in Vancouver. Plan for it, prepare for it. And when you achieve that, it brings so much joy and excitement to you because you did it. When you accomplish things, it's a really big booster and it makes you feel so good about yourself and it wants you to do more and to keep bettering who you are as a person. Having goals and planned events keeps you young. You're on a continual learning curve and education like this is priceless. I look back to myself when I turned 50. I got married. I, I wrote a book. I became a certified coach. I started a blog. And my YouTube channel had already been going, but that was the first thing to start me on the other path. So just because you reach a certain age doesn't mean that you should stop living. It means you should keep living and live your best life. Because when you sit down and look at these milestone birthdays, you say to yourself, what have I accomplished? And this is what makes people depressed if they haven't done as much as they'd like to. So please pay attention to this. Put a bucket list together right now and just start making a few things happen. Start small and then go into the bigger things. And then if, if you're financially restricted, just do things that maybe are, are, are inexpensive, but something that's out of, your comfort, uh, out of your comfort zone. Something that you really have always wanted to try, but you've been a little fearful. It's actually very addicting and quite fulfilling. We all have a purpose here in our life, but sometimes it takes us a while to figure out what that is. But the more things you try, the more things that you put energy into, the more you will find out what your passions are and what makes you truly happy. Many single people I know have difficulty meeting their special person. And a lot of it's just because they're not happy with what's going on in their life. So to change that up, make this list, this bucket list, put a few things on there because at the very least you're going to meet a whole bunch of new people. You're going to have fantastic experiences. Being single might not be so bad because you're able to have the freedom to go and do these things, but you might also meet your partner during one of these times. The more fun you are, the more intelligent you are and educated you are about what goes on in the world, what goes on every day, makes you a fun person and, and an exciting person to be around. So if you're feeling like I'm tired of being single, just try some of these things. Make your life exciting in other ways because it shouldn't take another person to make you complete anyway. You should be whole with who you are and anybody who comes in is an extension of who you already are. So please remember that and always take time to make yourself happy first. And the way to do that is to always have exciting things ahead of you on the calendar. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave any show topics you have in the comment section and please click like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you could do so. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.